this shit now. We're back. It's your girl Dada here, here for the Facts Crew, episode 14. Ladies, how y'all doing? I'm hey. doing amazing. Yes. How how spring break? How spring break? Oh, it's, a, it's breaking. It's, it's doing what it says. It's breaking. I think it's broken. It's done. <laughs> it's over and it's a wrap. It is. Listen, I'm not gonna complain. I was kid free. I got to be fuck them. Um, I got to be freak them kids. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. Hold on, right, we don't have to start that over. I'm sorry. Hold on, we don't have a chat from HR. I don't know if we had to stop. <laughs> oh, we ain't starting nothing over. Y'all better keep going. Hey, so. HR just came right on yeah, in. No, 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 HR. See all of this. All of this. We just had a conversation about this and look at you, potty mouth. You gonna get sorry. You know what? Mr. HR. Mr. HR. Money in the jar. The funniest thing though is that she said, All right, never mind. I said we'll be ready at 9 30. We can go ahead and go off. And she's like, I'm waiting till 9 39. Her. 9 16. What? <laughs> <laughs> out. Get, get ready to just shoot. Come on now. Come look, on. Look, it's ready okay. It's she not just no kids. She just played a curse. Yeah, like okay. All but right. yeah, I, go ahead. I got to be team freak them kids. You know, I was kid free. Um, <laughs> I got some rest, ah. relaxation, and I closed it out with watching my cousins renew their vows after 25 years of marriage. So oh, spring break wow. was amazing for me. Wow. That's beautiful. Like, cheers to them. Happy for them. Hopefully they're watching the show. <laughs> Run the views up. Run the views yes, up. Yes, yes, Congratulations. yes. Congratulations. We're excited. Yes. Um, Yes, yes. There we go. Toast, toast to you. Mm. My brain cut. <laughs> you see, I'm drinking. I'm <laughs> Everybody got a different cup. We really do. We really do. But I think it's be. You know what? It's funny. I got a teal cup. I got a, a teal cup, the same color as your cup, Tay. And you know, I could have brought that out. But that's a women's cup. Hey, hey, hey! It still got blue ones. Still got blue. <laughs> uh, yeah, mine just says happiness never goes out of style. I never would have brought that cup. I got it for free. That's the only reason why it's here. Mine is red. That means it's from the heart. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink this too fast, it will burn your heart as well. That's right. That's right. But, uh, let's see. For me, for spring break, uh, my children were gone, as I said on the last of them. Now, really thinking about it, damn, I got two episodes to say that they weren't here, you know, but they are love. It was a lot that went on. Um, a lot of hanging out. Um, I forgot who I was because I be forgetting that like I'm a sickly woman, right? But I ain't paid no attention to none of that. I was definitely outside. Um, I was wondering why my back was hurting real slave-like, you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> on Easter, okay? So I'm in the kitchen and I'm looking like, oh, Lord, I'm very... And I'm sitting here thinking like, oh God, I ain't land on Plymouth Rock, but dang, it definitely did land on me because mm. the pain in my back. But I stayed in that kitchen, okay? So we told what I came home at three in the morning. So what I thought, well, actually, no, I left the party at three in the morning. So what I got home 3.15-ish. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I got up and I went, I was like, oh, I'm about to, I said, you know what? I'm about to put the pot roast on because I'm not doing nothing. I put a Jane on IG talking about, should I go ahead and put this pyro on? Right after I posted that, I woke up and it was later on in the day. So yeah, the pyro got started about like 8.30 something or whatever. But you know, I was outside, had heels on, stayed out, hung out. Matter of fact, I think I've seen, I saw everybody, you know, only person I didn't get to see. And that's on me that I didn't get to see. But I seen all of y'all spring break, so that's on me. I wasn't even here. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here. I was talking about from the weekend prior when um when um there was the meeting at HR's house. So oh, that's yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's on me. But you know, next time. But yeah, I had a, you know. Yeah. You, you had, that's what it is. You had a time. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you had some alone time away from the children and that you were able to, you know, have some self-care moments as a mom. Because I think that it's 
one thing that we really need as mothers, sometimes we do need time to be, you know, alone, just to, re, you know, rekindle with ourselves. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I have to edit my last statement. Yes, it was not a meeting at HR House. It was actually a nice a uh, meet and greet moment for uh, WrestleMania that is shown on one of our other lovely podcasts here. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I didn't even have to say this. Okay, you know what? <laughs> thank this you one, so uh, much, HR. I'm trying to you. follow the rules, but hey, y'all, y'all know my heart. You know my heart. You know my heart. But, I, um, let me go and tell you guys about my weekend, guys. I went to the carnival. So there's a carnival like up close towards Baltimore area, like Glen Burnie. So I took okay. the kids up there. The carnival is in town for like maybe another 12 days or whatever. So if okay. you guys haven't been, take your family. It was a ball. Like, I'm just telling you, like, we ate cotton candy until we passed out. I had like four shish kebabs. <laughs> like, it was really, really, really nice. Okay. And then I did the Easter egg hunt thing. Mm. You know, that was like really, really cute and stuff with the children. And then I went to the movies. And so I haven't been to the movies in a while. Okay. It was an experience because I, I, I'm I'm used to going to the movies with like a man. <laughs> so going to the movies with my children was a bit different. It was a lot of other children there. It was a lot of sticky, spilt. Just it was you know, but but the movie was good. The movie itself was beautiful. I went to go see the new Mario Kart, the um, new Mario, I, don't, I think it's called it Mario Kart. I don't think it's, it's called It's a Mario movie. Ooh, was it good? I called it Mario Kart because it reminded me of the game. But yeah, <laughs> it was, it, the movie was fantastic, you know? So if you haven't seen that, I would definitely go check that out, you know? And I'm putting it on my list of things and to do. Yeah. And if you go where I went, you could get a big popcorn and a big drink. They give you a free candy. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I put that in the chat. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, can we talk about that after the show? Because yeah, right. I that. You see, you got me. Mm-hmm. No, I saw it. I know. I know, I know exactly where you're at. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, that's where I got the nerds from. Because yes. <laughs> they don't give nothing free in the movies. So you see, Man, oh, I get all candy down at the, at the spot. <laughs> you know, if you know where the fat all the movies is at, then you know what, what I'm talking about. Big gotcha. popcorn, big drink, free candy. You know what? Well, that sounds like where I need to go because I definitely, definitely uh, went to go see John Wick, not this weekend, but the weekend prior. And so when I saw, you know, when, you know, me and baby, we go to the movies and then he's like, you know, go ahead and get whatever you want, right? So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, we really balling because I'm like, everything up there is going to total up to at least a good $60, you know? Yeah, wow. It, does. Right? it really does. Yeah, no, it was it was something. I'm like, these I prices about forty five dollars on snacks. Yeah, yeah. and that's and that, why I got that free candy. You need to hit dollar store before you go. And Look, carry we were running her. late. Yeah, and that's the same thing that happened where we yeah. like I had. Man, I got it. there right when the credit. The big, what is it? The previews. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, don't know, I must have smoked real good earlier. Lord is that? Mm. No, the last but you time know dollar. Free, Dollar Tree right there behind the movie theater though. I know that, but like I said, yeah. it would have been, I would have missed the first part. I don't like missing the movie. I really don't like missing the previews because that's how oh, I know yeah, everything. I don't care about the previews. I'd be like, uh-huh, I know about <laughs> it. So, a lot that. of people don't like missing the previews because you find out about all the other movies and all yeah. that. But yeah, no, last time I went to the movies, we, I packed my purse and we had Subway sandwiches in the movies. Oh, so we, we sound real sweet. good. We should have done that next time. Because it's yep, okay. Yeah. It's like they do. Each person had their sandwich. We bought a <laughs> what we got there. Uh, Journey don't eat candy, so that just made it even better. Everybody was fat and nasty in their seat. <laughs> <laughs> we was enjoying of course, you know, I mean, they can't tell the difference in the rappers because you got the whole world smelling that. like olives and onions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> definitely had me some onions with the oil and vinegar and the oregano. Yes. You got you got to have the oil Real and vinegar. fragrant. <laughs> and like, I think we probably could have done that if because I asked him, I'm like, hey, I'm like, we going to the movies because he had asked me earlier in the week and then like everything had changed up. So I'm like, okay, cool, we can go. But we went to the gym. 
And then after the gym, we went to the movies. I was hoping we could go and get some food, but it wasn't time, wasn't permitting. He was like, it's okay, we can get something at the movies. I was like, okay, baller. Yeah, we can get something at the movies. I was like, so you mean I could go ahead and go get some chicken tenders and some fries? He was like, yeah, <laughs> girl, and an icy. I'm like, and I get an icy? Okay, I was like. Oh, you're nice. Oh, you get an icy, you know you balling. Thank you. Listen, look, we had two separate icies. We didn't even share an icy. Yeah, you see, me and the, I shared. I shared those $45 with us now. I would have. I definitely would. Because you know what? What I said to him was, because he was about to go ahead and give me a soda. I said, oh, no, 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 no. No, he's like, no, I'm sorry. He was about to give me an icy. I said, wait, 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 don't tell them people that. So I can go over there and fill it up myself and put my own icy in it. Just tell him I get the soda that come with that. Mm -mm. So I went over there. I was like, you ain't got to pay for no icy, baby. And he looking at me like, you ain't had to do that. And I was like, see, I'm trying to preserve your dollars because we can use that money for something else. There you go. Anyway. Ah, yes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. HR is letting us know that we, <laughs> oh, and we committing a movie theater fraud. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is, <laughs> we would never. We would like, never. We never what theater we were going to. We just said what I we just said the fact. But so, see, then you had said, never mind. No, Move they over. know what's fat. The spot know me and they know what's up. The spot banging with me, they know what time it is. Any day. Yeah, okay. We know we could do some nice switches. We're all we got to do switch hair colors. That's all you just switch, uh, switch hair colors, put on glasses. So. Bring that big purse next time. Yeah. And everything yeah. is allegedly. Everything. <laughs> everything. And that was in okay. my former life. Because y'all heard what I said. I said, see, he was like, you get them chicken tenders and them fries, girl. And you want your own icy hair. Yeah. And I'm like, I get my own ice. Oh, you know you gave up some booty out there. I'm like Quint to be. Yes, look, I was like, we ain't got to share, Big Daddy. I get my own ice, Big Daddy. Mm -hmm. oh, I get my own ice. And I'm like, I'm going to mix all my colors in there. And I'm just sitting there the, the whole time in the movie there, like, like the whole time. Every step. Ridiculous. It was something. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's go into the show. So, Keezy, what you got for us? with this uh, politics and pandemic craziness. It's, it's getting wild. You know what? Ever, I, I, ever since the <laughs> pandemic began, it's been so many random shootings. Uh, and I'm talking about like those mass shootings where there are so many... Look, y'all, just this weekend up in Baltimore, yes, Yes, face ain't surprised. Baltimore, yes. <laughs> so down at the Inner Harbor, there were 200 plus teens and other people as well down there because I had some friends who were actually down there. And they began to shoot into the crowd. Uh -huh. And they have the footage of the people running and it looks like they're at the 4K rate. This ain't funny, okay? Yeah. What I'm saying is, yeah. how do you do this on Easter? Exactly. Like, that's, that's you know, I know stuff happens every, every day all the time, but on Easter? Like, really? We can't just have one day of just... And so two people got arrested. And so they are now, I'm not saying that these are the actual shooters. These are just people who are people of interest. So. Yeah, that's wild. I'm not understanding what is going on with all these teens and shooting. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. can't see where they get access to these guns because we all know ghost guns are real. They're prevalent. They're easy to get. You buy some of the parts from here, buy the parts from somewhere else, and boom, now you got a whole gun. So... Yeah. And it almost makes you don't want to go out anymore. I mean, not like, you know, we want to live life. Like, okay, it's to me, we're still in the pandemic craziness. Yeah. We're trying to go like post pandemic, like from the main extreme part of the pandemic, where it's like people are out, people are enjoying life still. People are not, people are not messed up. People are not social distancing per se. So yeah. you have mass amounts of people back out in the community, moving around, enjoying life. Yesterday should have not happened. 
tomorrow shooting should not happen. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? When yeah. important thing, people are down there with their families, babies, mm-hmm. and children. Exactly. He didn't, it, people who had nothing to do with the whatever the because right. I don't know what the problem was. They said the folks was down there fighting. They said it was children. Of course. Children. But my thing is, if you're going to else, why are you going to a place where there's a, almost a 100% chance that you're going to be arrested? Then you got to deal with everything else. Now you got to catch all these extra charges for having a firearm underage, shooting a firearm in public like they're gonna tack on the charges and depending upon how old the kids are they probably charge them as adults like exactly. do they not understand that I, right now the way the law is set up it's yeah. not they're not playing they are throwing the book at almost everybody for any and everything throwing books at them <laughs> but listen that's books. exactly why i be a part of the deck lounge and club couch if I don't have no reason to be out and about, listen, it, I'll be right at what home. I'll be on the deck lounge. <laughs> okay. Couch. And I go right to club couch. Okay. I get I it. Like club couch. I've been in club bed lately and club bed is yes. tough. Hey, listen, oh, it's the most comfortable place you could be. Uh, club bed one is of the safest oh. place you can be. Yeah, because one thing I, I will say, um, phone in it. Mm. Now, now, now you talk. That's a, that's a whole another topic there. Now. Yes, yes. See, see. I'm, see, that's I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Back to yeah. One thing I will say, as a former resident of Baltimore, I can tell y'all the incident. When I tell you this happens quite often, like every time that there's a holiday and everybody's going to having fun. When I had my my son was maybe, dang, he was barely three months old. And I think it might have been two months and I had him strapped on in my body, right? Because I'm like, it gets wild out here. I'm not going to sit here and have my baby in a stroller because I don't know if we went. Next thing you know, somebody was like, oh my God, he just pulled out a gun. He's shooting. Everybody takes off running. You don't necessarily want to run. And then I'm like, I had a C-section. I got my baby on me. So I'm sitting here like, ah, running and everything. So I'm like, I hope my C-section don't fall apart. I don't know what's going on here. So we go ahead and get back to the car. We had a whole nother family with us. We are in a car that seats five people. Well, guess what? A family of four, (laughs) another family of four was in this vehicle. It was eight people in this car and we rolled like that. You better lap up, yes. Hello. That's exactly what we did. That is exactly what I did. And remember, again, the whole time I got a baby. And so the baby just keep turning the head around. I'm like, just, just stop. I got you. Like, yo, trust me. I got mm-hmm. you. But this happens every time of the, every single holiday, every time people are having fun. Nope. And then in a minute, it's getting hot out. It's going you know, to start getting hot and everything. And bodies going to start going to the harbor. But that's a whole nother topic. I don't go to Baltimore. The last time I've been to Baltimore for an event, I was a child. And we went to see the fireworks and the dude came. Wow. It's July 4th. You got on the trench coat. Mm. He didn't have a gun, but he had on a trench coat. And literally he opens his trench coat. He starts shooting off the fireworks, pop, bottle rockets. Mind you, you know, they just shoot wow. well. Yeah. Shoot I said, you have to be kidding me. So then the police come and tackle him. I said, you have to be kidding me. That's the last time I've ever been to Baltimore for an event. If I go to Baltimore, it's either to go to the stadium or to go, well, skip that part, but to go to get food. But other than that, I don't go to- I'm traumatized from some of these stories that I am hearing. I don't, I've been to Baltimore to party once and I was like, yeah, I'm good. Because- I used to work there. You stick out out like a sore thumb. Like, I'm so not saying Baltimore is like some foreign place, but no, they it definitely is a foreign Baltimore. place and you definitely need a passport to get there. <laughs> Baltimore is <laughs> a part of Philly. We don't like to visit and return. Baltimore is part of Philly. Baltimore okay, is a part of Philly. Look, okay, here's what I will I say. When I well, here's the thing. So again, I was living in, in Baltimore Philly. and the person that I was dating for was from the gorgeous Prince George's. So when he came out, I was like, um, I said, you ain't scared to come out here, are you? I said, it's okay. My building is secure. You're going to be all right. We got nice security. I might used to live near the Hippodrome. So I'm like, I got nice security. You're going to be good. You're going to be good. But I would take him around to other places. He was like, I didn't even know that Baltimore had these nice spots. Like, it's a lot of nice restaurants and stuff out there. But you got to be there with a purpose. And so the thing about it, but when he came out there too, it was still like at the 
the beginning of the pandemic. So everybody in the house. So we can run around the harbor. We can go and visit these businesses. He didn't see all this other stuff that's going on here. I know he heard about it, but he just got it got him to get a better look of it. But I mean, it's a it can be a nice place. You just gotta know the time frames. Be I'm it, going to be Fells it. Point and I'm going home. There you go. Fells Point is very nice. <laughs> you know? and, and go to Harbor East. Harbor East has some amazing restaurants. They have an amazing movie theater over there and everything. But you know, we get a lot of people a lot of extra average um, free advertising and everything, but. Yeah, I'm like, Baltimore, but shout out to Baltimore, and I hope that you yeah, know. and a couple of our viewers who are watching. So, hey, Denise, hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, I'm Tamina. Sorry. Hey. Baltimore is where I draw the line. I mean, I'm probably one of those people, but to me, when you say Baltimore, it all it equates dirty. And I know all of Baltimore is not like that, but that's going just- to jump what, you when the show is done. Do you understand? It, <laughs> they are going to sorry, drag you. Just, so nah, I'm going to agree with you on that one. Because when I hear Baltimore, like, I, I also think the of like Bastion. the corner. <laughs> and I think of the wire. You don't think Mo, about like going out there and- and No, like, that's, that's, well, yeah, that's why I'm like, but not, but not Denise or Jamina or no, Jasmine. not Denise or Jamina or anybody <laughs> or, else that is listening. By oh all girl, means, if oh y'all want to tell me where to go in Baltimore at red0521 at IG, let me know. Let me know where I need to be. But right, they're not right talking about point is it. If they're anybody not, in Baltimore out there is watching our podcast, give us some feedback. Well, some places that we need to be visiting in Baltimore. So that Please do, Baltimore. because as you see, I got a one-track mind when it comes to Baltimore. And no, I actually have a home girl up there who has some good BBQ. She has a good BBQ restaurant up there. So let's all go up there and try that. And maybe that will change your mind. And I mean, she's like dead. It has been 15 minutes. Dead ass Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. She got <laughs> Me. And I know they have good seafood also, and I'd be wanting yeah. to go up there to try the seafood, but it's like, bruh. Okay. It's yeah. just, I don't know. I mean, I go to the aquarium and like, I'll go to the aquarium. Yeah, but the aquarium is beautiful. That's boring yeah. too. Now. Like, I have been about 500 times and yeah. I don't, I don't, I go on Fridays when there's pay what you can day because no. And then if you go. $30 I, to be done in the hour is ridiculous. Right. Yeah. So I pay what you can Fridays or I go after hours where you can um, pay like a couple of dollars and you can walk around there. And it's, I think you go in, the, what, the aquarium goes at like six. So I'll get there like uh-huh. four. I can see everything before six o'clock. And I'm yeah, not good. for yeah. the dolphin show. Like, well, I'm glad that I know that. I think I'll do that with the kids this up and coming weekend now that I know mm-hmm. to pay as you can. Another, and Friday, it's also I can pay nothing. I got these two dollars for you. Here you go, Baltimore City. Man, I don't want to go on Discovery Zone. It's too many kids, man. Nah, it's too many kids and they be touching stuff, man. Kids are dirty. You know what? You're right. I'm not even thinking. Yeah, because I forgot. Now that I think, now that I said it, I took my daughter there We can talk about another child. (laughs) Not to any of my friends' kids, too. But no, let's talk about something serious. There we go. Let's get back. Yeah, so shout out to Baltimore. We'll leave them where they are. Yes, Baltimore. Let's, 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 let's go over the bridge. Let's yes. go to Virginia. Oh, man. Virginia. Have you guys yeah. heard of the six year old um, that, that shot the teacher, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, did you hear about the mama? Go ahead. Uh-huh. You didn't hear about what happened earlier with the mother? No, man. With the yep. felony Ooh, for child neglect because it was her gun. Wow. Because um, I know, like last week, I know I was. How do y'all uh, feel about that? Like, how do y'all feel about the parent? Okay. How do you feel knowing that your child just shot the teacher and now you're getting in trouble for it? Try yes, to put you should. Up in that woman's shoes. And tell me for one moment in an unbiased standpoint, honestly, because I ain't rocking like that. I didn't do it. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I mean, you gotta be accountable. I ain't never said the day in my life, but that be the day. I'm snitching <laughs> on my son. Because he did it already. I mean, what? You're not about to get now, me. Yeah, both in trouble. Her. Yeah, I mean, I still feel like even though the child is only six, there should be some form of consequence just to show them that 
you know, you're not, what you did, your actions are not okay. And it's not excusable because of your age, because my thing is at six, you're pretty, I'm not saying you're, you're not fully developed by any means, but you're still cognizant of what you're doing also, because you are smart enough to know to pull the trigger. But this leads back to our conversation with last week. Why aren't these guns, why, why are they loaded, you know, one in the chamber? Why are they not on safeties? Because it is, they're six. I be why is he able to even take it to school like he did? And why that I don't know? Too. But you're also six. Years that's that clanking? That too. <laughs> and it's hard to pull, like, I be struggling to pull, back. when I take my brother's gun or whatever, um, go shoot it. It's hard to pull back a dime. Like, yeah, if, when you pull it back, it's, huh? it's, it's a lot to it. You got to have a firm, you know, I'm great. And for me, that six year old, I'm thinking like he can do that. Yeah, but you can know, I think the, the thing I, is, I, that's very concerning though is that she knew that her son concerning. had some issues. So I'm not understanding how you would even just have it sitting around. I would be scared. Like if he's, it feel like this, he's rocking hard enough that he could go ahead and do stuff like this and shoot a teacher, right? So you could do that. So I'm, and you know, kids, it's like he, kids can get mad very easily just because they didn't get their way. I wouldn't feel safe sitting there having that in there and thinking that. Would he shoot his mom? You. Mom, can I have some cereal? Remember, no. Remember a couple of weeks ago, just remember, like they say in the chat, where, why did they know what a gun was in the first place? Because they be paying attention because they knew what they was going to do. Put that shit up where they can't get to it and put it in a lockbox. That but too, I'm saying, why, are this you, why are you wrong? It. if you if it's locked up why are you constantly taking it out it's not for show it is for protection it's not mm -hmm. supposed to be put out on display like they should not know where it is mm -hmm. for one if you know your child has issues now mm -hmm. i understand certain circumstances where your child might be a little older and they do know where it is so if something do happen and you need to help mom or dad out they know where the gun is but it should still be some sort of barrier or something for them to even be able to get to it. It shouldn't just be in your nightstand mm -hmm. or just sitting on your dresser or under your pillow. But or under then your again, dress. they right. live in Virginia, okay? So you have to remember, just because we think logically up in the upper states, more in the southern states, things are a little bit linear, okay? Mm. So what I'm saying is daddy got his rifle behind the back door. You know what I'm saying? That's how they live in the South. So sometimes you have to look at other perspectives as well. Yes, how we live in our society in the North. Yes, yes. But we you know what? Yeah. But in the South, baby, sometimes it's right there. You feel me? Some, you can have guns and, and walk around with it on your waist pretty much and nobody says anything. Well, you know what, here's, here's, I think, my best suggestion about it. The same way that, you know, people go and hide sex toys and stuff, you can keep that well hidden. Do that with the guns, okay? The same way you hide that up somewhere, do that with the weapons. Don't you look in this camera, young lady, because see, she looked right over. See, this is what the kids be doing. She looked right over <laughs> after I said I'm trying to record, but I got to comb here real quick. I know, we, we see, we see, because this, again, this is a yeah, real with real and mother featuring taste kids yeah and the thing about it it was the fact that like so my comment is coming out and like i was sitting i'm looking at something else in my comment and then it's the way that her eye had went up like that i was like oh god oh god <laughs> like, where did you oh. come from how did you even get there that so, okay let's let's stay in yeah, virginia yeah and because i have some other things reporting live from virginia yeah yeah so did you guys hear about the rapper now this this okay hold on this story right here took me out. I can't even pronounce this boy's name. I think his name is uh, Egyptian. <laughs> it looked like Egyptian, but it's spelled all weird type of letters and things. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't know he looked like he do fair. Seems like he had some troubles going on in, in the home. And in the home, he has shot his mother, his sister, and a brother. That's wild. Listen to me, y'all. He done took out the whole family. Yeah, he wild. What's going but... on in Virginia? <laughs> they need to talk to 
their gun laws. That's what's going on. Yeah, they definitely do. And, and 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 that's one thing I think they're very linked because the way that I could, I watched one video, they kind of summed things up for me because I was kind of lost. I read like two different articles and I'm like, how did they even allow for this boy to get on the loose like that? Yeah. He hit the neighbor's cars and stuff. It's like it was going down out there in the neighborhood. If you say in the neighbor's face, she looks distraught, honey. Like she can't even believe this has happened in her neighborhood. Do you understand? This is in Virginia. Yeah. In some nice neighborhood. Yeah. But yeah. All that ruckus is going on at. Not all the ruckus. All yeah. that shooting and violence in the middle of the street. No, honey. They're not having it there. You know the joint that really tripped me out about this story though is that so when he end up oh you know what, I'm sorry I didn't finish it yeah he I know, that's why I stopped myself. So I'm you sorry know. you got it my bad my apologies no no because then they Cleo'd him at the end he want to go out <laughs> night after night <laughs> and then uh, the police don't open the fire on his ass yes so what so was guess- the purpose I'm not understanding these random acts. Maybe he wanted to na- make a name for himself by any means necessary. You know, clout chasing is something that is very serious and unfortunately, they are willing to lose their lives for this shit and I don't understand it. I, I'm i one of those people. I don't need to be popular. I don't need a story, none of that. Just let me be. I can be good yeah. in the background. I don't have to go out here and do nothing wild, crazy to, to just be a story headline for 30 seconds. We're a microwave generation. We don't focus on nothing for long enough. We're going to forget all about the story by next week. Yep. Yeah, absolutely right. So you did I, all that, like you said, for week, what? For my quicker. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, the thing that really got me, though, is that so where he was killed at, so after he he did the, so yeah, he killed, I mean, no, I'm sorry. He did not kill him. I thought he killed him. I read some of those. He did so not they're kill They're in very critical sister. condition, right? Someone's in yes. critical condition. So his mother, his life. brother, and his sister, they're all in the hospital. He went and did the music video and then left the music video. And I guess he decided to go on the run. So, you know, Virginia is right next to North Carolina. So police were looking for him. They found him in North Carolina. And so I'm like, you, you did a lot, a whole lot. And like you said, for what purpose? Carolina. Why is everybody, everybody, when they get in trouble, the first place they run is North Carolina. And when North I tell Carolina you, I'll be out of hide in. Okay. I already know some places I'd be in. I know oh. exactly where I'm going, and I'm not telling nobody. <laughs> nobody. Baby. Well, as long as y'all don't go to Tulsa, Oklahoma, because no, they're you. always on the first 48. Always. Always. And then you know what? What about um? <laughs> What is the lady from um from first forty eight? Is the black lady she be having like the um the, yep. the bank? She in Alabama, right? Yeah, or she in Mobile, Alabama. Okay, yeah, because I'm gonna say don't go there either, because she always yep. out there. She's on your ass, yeah. She's yes. Get you. She's gonna get hills you. and all. She don't care. She know hills and all. She hills on your and ass, honey. Yeah, that bald white man. Oh yeah, yeah. It ain't no. He not playing no games. No games. Anyway, go ahead, Ma. What you got? Okay, so I have one uh, troubling story to report about. So did you guys hear about the kiss <laughs> from the Buddhist? What's my man? The uh, Dalai the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. Uh, the Dalai Lama said fa la 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 and stuck his tongue. Uh, you got water. La, 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 la. Well, okay, this is some nasty shit I seen. Okay. He uh, said a thing and he kissed the little Indian boy. All up in the mouth. Well, apparently he asked the little boy to suck his tongue. Oh, he asked little boy something. No, that's the part. I it. He said something about he needed to enter the mouth. Oh god. Oh, he did. It was something weird. He said he was like, hey, the boy right here, and he was all like, uh. It was nasty. Yeah. Something that a grown ass man don't need to be up, especially someone who's advocating for peace and freedom. I mean, well, his freedom means something different. And I don't know about all that. Cause what, sir? Like what? And the, to see that picture of his tongue sticking out Did and to see how his tongue was. Yeah, oh my God. Was I'm like, whoa, whoa. Ew. 
Oh, all right. Ew. So look, this is this, this is my question. Ooh. All of it. I got scared. caught on camera with this one. How many times did he not get caught? Exactly. exactly. What else is he doing with these kids? I mean, he's not the only one. You got to look at. Um, I don't know if y'all heard about it, but I read it was about a hundred people, um, in the church that got caught up on, um, you know, typical child shit, yep. uh, molestation, them priests and them altar boys. Yep those priests it was i forgot what church it was um but yeah about 100 people got um uh, convicted <laughs> of, um ch- child i'm just say child abuse because that kind of covers everything yeah oh weird God. God. don't understand what is this fetish and then i don't know if y'all also seen that um lady she killed her four week old baby because the father did not want to be with her the baby was even I think full between two and four weeks, she killed the baby because the father didn't want to be with her. She beat the baby to death. Oh my god! And I'm hey, like, they gonna get to her and Jim Pop. I'm telling you, she ain't gonna yeah, be in there long. They gonna get to her. They go to they gonna beat the living daylights out of her. As, yeah, I'm just getting as needed. Will never be daylight you, savings again if, for her. If the don't want you, fine. If you don't want the kid, drop him off at the police station, the firehouse. No questions asked. That's been a known rule for eight million years. If you don't want to drop them off to a safe space with no questions asked and let somebody properly take care of these kids, but then even putting them in the system is no better. Um, yeah. Okay. But you got- no, I'm going to hurt the kid because the kid is the reason why he don't want me. People are stupid, you know that. man. You know that. You know what you was that man? You know what you was that man. All right. And that hurt part. him by taking his child away. Well, look at you now. Dummy. I thought we all learned like a long time ago that a baby does not keep a man. We have probably, if it wasn't, if it didn't happen to your mother, it happened to one of her friends, it happened to a relative. We all know that. But we so, also know that you can't fix stupid. There you go. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because that might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Oh, he didn't want to be with me, so I took it out on the child. If he don't want to kill my child and give away my freedom. So just imagine, right? Like, well, like you can't go find another man. Right, but now let's say that this was the first child. You got stretch marks and all this other stuff on. You got all these things. You got all these reminders. Think about it. So the baby's two, four, two or four weeks old. You know, she still got to sit here and walk around with her post-recovery, you know, gear and everything. You got so many reminders of the baby. What are you doing? And it's so sad because there's people that are struggling out here that want to have kids and everything. It's somebody who would have loved to have that baby and take care of that baby. And she probably would have grown up in a much better situation and a much better home. Like, if you know, furthermore, this is another thing that puzzles me. If you know you're not in a situation to even take care of a child you shouldn't be out here doing the do that's yeah. a, if you know you everybody knows the consequences we all know yes like, i mean i won't say the consequence because children are a blessing but you know the outcome the, the, the outcome yeah. there we go it's a prize so now i'm stuck with you for the rest of my life <laughs> yes <laughs> like you know that you're stuck with this person for the rest of your life, life wherever, regardless if the father wants to be there, if the mother wants to be there, you're stuck with this person. They, you, they, like, they depend on you. And then for you to just sense, like, just be senseless and do harm to the baby. Now, now you in jail. He walking around. He ain't got no kid to worry about. He ain't got to worry about you. Yeah. I, don't, I just, I don't moving on just fine. And to be honest, he didn't found him a recovery bitch, so he ain't shipping off of none of that. He, and oh my gosh, you know how much sympathy, you know how much sympathy tail he getting right now. Oh my god, he probably I, ain't even thinking about that right now. He probably not. I mean, that's the sad part. I mean, yeah, but it's for the fact it's on the. You're right. It's trifler that we protected these kids. How are we protect? We're doing them a disservice at this point. Mm-hmm. I mean, bringing them to the world and not taking care of them. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't, I don't get it. But what else? Um, uh. We got here. What what we got? Uh oh. Speaking yep. of doing yep. the yep. do, yeah, I'm telling you, yeah, because we can do. 
Yep. The and then you can't say, oh, yes, yes, they're going to come through. They're going to come through. But you know what? We did the do, and we are all taking care of our responsibilities. Hey. That's what happens when you do the do right there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> that that yeah. is that though, these are, yeah, those. But that you is, know who won't be doing the do anymore? So, did you guys oh. hear about the Indonesian man who broke his penis? Yes, doing reverse cowgirl. So, oh. I never broke nobody's stuff doing that before. Yeah, I may not I break. Don't know which type of moves she was doing? I don't think I need to learn from her. <laughs> in my mind, right? Maybe she was too in the groove of it, and you know how sometimes you can kind of shift a little bit. Yeah, but maybe it kind of like bent. Also, and then... I'm confused. I'm just it's that still perplexed me because if you're doing that, cool, fine. But what are you really doing? Like, I'm, I'm just, I mean, it's not making sense. Like, did it slip out? Was it not big enough? Like, it's so many different. Maybe he was trying to thrust in while she was coming back and he got too excited and jam. And my, crack. My, my thing is, when you're in that type of situation, mind your business and let me do what I'm doing. <laughs> just mind your business. You know, some, some niggas get anxious. Well, I don't but know how I, they could have did that because I ain't never did that before. I, you know, I like reverse cowgirl, and when I be up there, I make sure that I know what I'm doing. So I don't know what she was doing. I don't do those she things. I'm a virgin, ma'am. Hold on, ma'am. <laughs> Next, you know, I'm waiting for your kids to knock on the door. Please knock on the door, children. I need y'all to come through. I need I'm somebody. The Virgin Mary it reborn. Better not, it better be quiet on the set. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I think that what it is, I, I think there's a lot of different factors that we need to put into play, right? So first, and this is not an attack on this man, but every no, man is different. But the length, the length, the girth, the width, these are all different factors. So she might've went up and he might've been trying to go ahead and thrust up or something. And then she then went and sat back. Now it depends also, let's say the woman's weight you know what I'm saying? And then how is how much attention she wasn't paying. So just think of all these different things. I'm look, I am the they first say to say it was that. fractured. But think about okay, so fracture your wiener. If you that really think about when you go up, think about like when you go up and then that giant, like you know, it'll slip out. Yeah, it'll slip out, and you know they'll be hold, 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 hold a second. Okay. okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's all I can think of. Like, I've heard I, those I, stories I, from my I, friends. I told you I don't do those things. Look, it's, like remember, on, um, it. remember the show that we were talking about? It was on uh, Discovery or TLC, and it was Sex and Me to the ER and everything. Yeah. And so it's like just thinking of that. Like if you don't sit there and pay attention to your partner, that might also play a role because it's like if you if you cared about him, <laughs> if you really cared at all, I don't see how you like got because in order for it to get bent like there are more details that we need because i'm in my mind i'm just trying to think because i'm good on it like i don't need any more details because it I, means, just, I don't do that i, I don't, don't need any more details i just want a picture <laughs> <laughs> send me yet <a> pick <laughs> <laughs> LOL, smiley face. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. I'm not going to say nothing because I don't I'm, need no, I'm, I'm right, I don't need no random so wings in my right inbox. Now. I will block you. Listen, it's like, so yeah, and the thing about it, the know. way, like, it's I'm so getting cool. a lot of, a lot of wild friend requests on Facebook right now. Like, I've never, ever, ever, like, you know, when you first jump on, then you got from like, oh, wow, because your friends are such and such. And I'm looking, I'm like, I don't know, none of these people that you got two friends in comment and I don't know them. No, thank you. Listen, and this and the way they come, I'm like, okay, they might be a fan of the show. And then next year, I'm checking them DNs, and I was like, wait, wait, whoa, hello, beautiful. Okay, all right, yeah, then come here for that. But well, everyone, this means um, everybody have safe sex and keep in touch with your partner so you can make sure that you don't go ahead and fracture a penis because you now have a story that you can say this really can happen, and it's it's just not okay. It's just not okay. Make sure you know your status. That's the last thing I got to say. There yeah, we go. Exactly. Know your status. Hello. Well, all right.
don't know what yeah. time it is. Well, we're going to yeah. step on over to the more ratchet side. Mm. <laughs> I mean, can it get more ratchet than that? Like, yo, what? It I don't know. I don't know. For real, though, that was real ratchet. That, 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 yeah. that pandemic is ratchet. So, I mean, so. What You're you right. Not, okay. But a round of applause for Tyreek. Yes. I met him some wheels and he ain't got regular wheels. He got he got a Porsche because what did what did he say he had a BMW and it was black <laughs> walking, black man walking. <laughs> but my finally got a Porsche so I'm very proud of him but you know I feel like a Porsche because yeah we know who your dad was the whole nine but you really you really putting a target on your back even more now granted you do have an internship but we don't know if it's a paid internship so how can you per se necessarily afford this porch? But that's a conversation for another day. Because of all them months of walking and years yeah. of walking in ball name. <laughs> hey, he he's been saving his money. We're just gonna go with that story. There we go. There we but go. I no, was, his father died. Right, but he can't save the money yet. He got graduate from um. They don't college. know that. Right. They don't know that. You're right. They right. don't. Know you're right. You're right. I'll, 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 I can. You're I can right. They don't know about the trust. Huh. Okay. Okay. Good job. Right. Because in, um, he don't brag about his trust too much, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, I will say, Rick is smart as hell. He's very smart. He picks up on little things. Um, he actually learned a lot just from watching what was it, RSJ, but the yeah. Black All the Money. Um, he, he. Yeah, he's he's a smart one because he reeled in a multi-million billionaire, um, you know, to secure the 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 account. I just didn't like how um, Braden's uncle Lucas does his name Lucas, I think. I think so. Yeah. Um, he tried to basically say, if you don't secure this account, you're gonna lose your internship. I thought that was really low of him because my thing is, you should know who you're trying to sign on. You should know what they're about and you want this man's business. So why not propose something? You already got Tyreek sitting at the table. So boom, as a black man, I see you got a white boy and a black boy. You only brought the black boy just to use him. Exactly. And like I told Tariq, use them as much as they're using you. Yeah. So I, that was really good. Now, Drew has stepped it up tremendously. Um, trying to call his own shots. I just don't uh, like how Kane just he Kane is smart, but he has to relax with his authority. He's a he's abusing his power. He's abusing it, and I feel uh, like he's gonna low key cause a lot of rift and unnecessary drama because Kane is a hothead. He's shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. Now, Brandy, I like it. I, I like this character. <laughs> but my man got to slow down in these streets because he is moving all types of wild, like with the whole the gun transaction that happened. That was tripping. Like, you knew these people were racist. Yes. Poppy told you, we need to get out of here. I don't feel comfortable counting the money. I wouldn't even went back to the hotel. As soon as Brady would have dropped the bread, we could have rolled. We count that shit yeah. later. If they shorted you, you can deal with that shit on the back end. But don't, don't, don't stick around. You already know what type of situation you're in. And he told yes. you. He told you. What was it, Gordo? He told you. But yes. he got once two he got hard two hand, hard. He off ass. And then come to find out the dude was the CI. So that just makes it 20 times worse because now he got mm -hmm. pictures of Poppy. They know Gordo set it up. They got pictures of Brayden. It's it's all going to fall down because Kane never went and got the phone from the dude, which my thing is if you shoot somebody, run their pockets. Yeah. Them going down, yeah. Run his pockets, and furthermore, you should have made sure he was dead. You shot him in the back. He's in critical condition, shit, and he can he can still talk. Yeah. So like, what, what, are, we, what are we doing here? He didn't and, understand and, the assignment. But it seems like Brayden is another one who don't understand the goddamn assignment because you want to be in this group, this gang, so 
bad, but you can't fulfill the duties. Because yeah. I see that Kane is literally trying to test him with, oh, I need you to pull this move. Oh, I need you to pull this move. I need right. you to pull this move. And every move that he's giving you, you haven't done. Not one of them. It's, it's wild yeah. watching it. And then think about it now, like real seeing how like Poppy about to get like his position back because Kane almost got shot. And if it wasn't for his dad saying, get down, like, yo, Kane be gone. Okay, and that was a shotgun, so yeah. I don't know if people yeah. that really survived those. Exactly. And it was already up there in the Law and Order van, so that it was already <laughs> looking us back up there at the uh, at the motel. Like they they doing something in there. Right, and then you had the jankiest of all fucking hotels. Like, come on, yeah. and their turf. Like, let's be smart here. And yeah, no. the way that Drew and his boy came through and slid through there. Oh, my, I love the way that the car was swerving around the parking yeah. lot. Yeah, that, 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 that was hard. That part was tight. He came guns blazing. I was like, oh, okay. I see he was out the window. Exactly. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to skip that part. But anywho. Exactly. <laughs> Diet. I'm not going to lie. When she first went to the cop and she was talking to him, it was like, I want to get my man back. Bruh, when I say my blood was boiling, I said, this heifer gonna go and betray her mother like this. And her mother gave her specific instructions. But mm-hmm. in the end, it played out. Um, I mean, it's self-defense. You came into my home. You, But the messed up part is he had the key. But on the back end, he also did some shit to the cameras. So they don't mm-hmm. know you know, really how he got in. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But the mm-hmm. kicker of it all is Monet getting that uh, case file and it got Poppy fingerprints at the scene uh-huh. that Zeke was killed. I can't wait. I can't wait till that one come out because it's, oh my gosh, because you know, she about to, oh my gosh. So think about it. She was about to leave him to be with Mecca. They was going to be a whole big family. Who you done killed my man. You done killed my son. Nah. Well, she killed Mecca herself. I mean, well, yeah, true. She did. She but she Mecca. also talked about it. But it's his fault. It's Poppy's fault, okay? Because she wanted Mecca. I knew she was going to find out that Poppy killed Zeke. And I got a feeling he's going to be dead in like two episodes. I hope I, so. I hope not. I actually like Poppy. They need to get rid of fucking sax. I don't know how many seasons, episodes, clips... I they need to get rid of Diana too. <laughs> yeah, she's the weakling. I mean, she's pushing the weight though now. But yeah, like they get made her do that, and I was like, "Damn, man!" I just thought he was going. I thought Nova was going to go after her. Now Nova ain't going to go after her because she out here about to still make um make these moves out here at uh, Stansfield. So yeah, but Stansfield is hot because you got Lauren still, and she just spilled all the beans about how, where they're stashing the drugs at on the roof. So now the nosy ass cop, um knows about it and she's talking about putting cameras up there but what i also don't like is how blanca the other lady and sax are working together but i feel like that shit's gonna blow up in their face because they're not being honest with each other each Thanks. one has own motive and they each have a little key piece and mm-hmm. i feel like with her not telling him about the ci um it's really gonna mess up things for them but sax is nosy I agree. I've yeah. never seen somebody so damn nosy in my life. You going through people's drawers. You tell her her second phone ringing after you didn't already looked at it and dug in her purse, but you try to say, oh, are you messing with someone else? What? Mm-hmm. What? Like, what that ain't your phone. Like, what? <laughs> like, you have a last look it out. Look, look, you hurt your own feelings. Get away from he, he, got, he got his hands in too much, and then I feel like now, since he's trying to gain um, Method Man's trust, it's gonna back. I think it's some way, somehow, it's gonna backfire on him. It's like he's mm. doing too much. Cause he got his hand in too many different things because he's still trying to smash Homegirl on the side, but yes. he's trying to get Davis on the back end. You gonna have to pick. Yeah, you gotta and pick. They, they didn't. It isn't good anyway. 
they didn't address Davis's brother in this episode. Because I'm like, if he get out and all this other stuff, if all this stuff works out and then mess around and send him to go kill sex. Like, there's just so many different directions that this can go. But Yeah, I want to um, know what's going to happen with Lauren because she got to go too. <laughs> but I want to know what's going to happen with her. Um, you know, once she, because she's just doing too much She's becoming frantic. She's not realizing like how the police lady is really playing her. Mm. Like she's not protected because the same way they found out Mecca's information, you think that they're not gonna eventually find out that you're still alive. Exactly. Because once Sax find out she's still alive, some way Davis is gonna find out, and then it's just gonna be a trip trickle effect, and then now Kane's about gonna be on fucking Effie's neck. Mm-hmm. Get her neck. And it was Brayden's move, to be honest. Effie had nothing to do with it, but of course, you know, Tariq's her man. So she gonna yeah. do she gonna eliminate the competition. Exactly. It's almost like you know on um uh TV one, they've got a thing, they've got a show called For My Man and everything. So as I'm watching the show, that's all I keep thinking about where all these women that they went ahead, they did something, they either killed somebody for their man or they was trying to take a charge for their man. But all these things where people are they panic playing with their life in the end of this whole situation so mm-hmm. isn't we interesting? about diana's boyfriend celine i feel like he is a oh. little off with him he yeah. a hot up i'm not trying to be funny he a hot up you know grand oh. rising queen <laughs> he don't say good morning and not right now he don't eat breakfast he breaks his fast yeah no he don't go to dog and he stop at Target. yeah you know everything is essential oils don't get me wrong i'm very earthy i'm a hippie i'm not making fun of anybody or anything like that as i have my whole altar set up and my plants and all that good stuff but yeah he a hotel yeah he's a little off and he's just a little too soft-spoken for me and then the fact that he Googled her. Yeah, I Googled your dad. And I saw that, you know, he got out on all these technicalities. What? Uh, How yes. is that? You trying to court this girl. You telling her. Oh, I'm my father's like, who I've said been you stalking you from the winds. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I be missing it. But we're we going to see what, what's going to happen. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't wait. But, you know, we're going to go ahead and switch gears and uh, talk about my good old guy, Franklin. Oh, man. Mr. Mr. Saint. Yes, Mr. Saint. Mm. I don't know where to start with this. Um, you know, Jamie Jerome had his funeral, which was decent. I feel like yeah. it, just, it wasn't, I don't know, maybe I expected more. Yeah. But it was just decent. And then you got Louie and Franklin working together to set up Teddy I just don't trust Louis at all. At I don't all. see how, I mean, I, I see how Franklin trusts her, but I just don't trust her at all. Because when she says to him, you're the devil, and yeah. I'm in, in the twitch in his eye, he was like, mm-hmm. I know. I was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he had a whole twitch going on. I said, yeah. he, 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 yeah. he is that guy. But I'm like, Louie, you keep treating him like if he, like, yes, your husband is gone now. However, he cared enough. He was going to let them niggas take you down, okay? You was, yo, okay? They was, uh, what? They was ready. Like they a, had a whole party on her backside. Exactly. And yo, you could have still been there. So yes, but your husband, he made sure to go ahead and get your husband. He's like, look, we got, we got time for all this stuff. We have to save her. And he came up there with him to save you. So now you want to sit here and blame everything on him. Like her lack of accountability is like it. it, it, it I'm like you're not going to be responsible for none of this. No, but why are you blaming him for going to get the person who's supposed to protect you? Exactly. For one, Franklin couldn't pull that off by himself. It was too many people there. Exactly. So, okay, he would have left Jerome out of it. Whoopie, it still wouldn't have really changed Jerome the outcome. About, Jerome it's, about all of that, though. For he, her, but, all, come, all of that. You're right. He wants all smoke behind her. And yes. it sucks that he has to die for her to really realize that. Exactly. Because right. if you listen to everything that everybody said, you know he really loved you. You know he really loved you. Franklin mm-hmm. could have been heartless 
and really exactly. just left you left you out the dry then exactly I would have been well HR saying Jerome died like a fool I mean whilst that is true <laughs> whilst his wife did try to leave him for a woman whilst his wife was proposed to by that woman while she was out here making a bunch of rash decisions that he was telling her not to do, while she kept on saying, I'm going to be big boss, don't why you got to talk to him, you need to talk to me. While she did all that, Jerome was right there by her side, by her side. Yeah, and he, she, she, she really, she put him in a bind, like, every you time here on the outs with my sister. Oh, I'm sorry, our HR department is now saying that, and I quote, that hood rat bitch crossed his family. <laughs> Right, that nigga asked it. that bitch to leave the shit alone, and she was like, "Nah, son." Whilst that is, <laughs> <laughs> whilst that is true, I mean, and it's yeah. true because he was what he he asked her. He said, "Is your life worth this? You got me yeah. on the house with my sister. You got me on the house with my nephew. Like that's the only family that he really had." And yeah, you, and it was you, you right, like you know, for our period. And you trying to blame my nephew? Like yeah. yeah. She, she, she should have died. I mean, I hate to say that, but she should have been the one who got clapped in the shootout. She should have. And she needed more than falling off that damn horse. She needed more than that. More than that. Yeah. But you know what? Whoever plays this character of Jerome, the way that he tugged at my heartstrings, and he was like, I just thinking that, you know, you love me just a little bit more. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, that man, he been here for you through all of this when you ain't want to know. And then when they gave that backstory of like, I guess she was a, a prostitute wherever she was from and everything. And then she came over there and she changed her life and all this other stuff. He just, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, 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 it's getting real wild. But the little, what is it? The KBGs or the KBJ, whatever those people are. The little KBG, KBG yes. Yeah. They, now he goes hard. Mm. He goes hard because he rolled up, popped all the feds, all of them. Free my man Oso, so they could go save Franklin. I really like Oso. I like him a lot because he he's been a stand up guy from the tiger when him and Franklin was running from the people in the streets. Then they running from the tiger. Then they got locked up with the tiger. That, that whole tiger just threw me off. But yeah, <laughs> Oso he been riding. He he's been right, and he's been. Yeah. I mean, he's been he's in a bind right. Well, not right now, but he was in a bind with the feds. You got KBG on yes, you got Teddy on yes, you got Franklin on yes. That's four different groups of people on your ass. He's still standing. He's still standing. Still standing. All I know is when they drop it on um when they drop the next episode, they better not take Oso out. If he go before Frank, I said Frankie, um, Louis, I'm gonna flip the table. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to be able to take it no more. Because like I said, Jerome, that yeah. man is hurt. It hurts. And like, it's been it's a minute when since I've down When it's starting to trickle down because they start killing off characters. So I can only yeah. imagine who was next because I thought Franklin was about to be chopped meat. When oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. They begged. Yeah. Oh, so I was like, wow, they really you are know what? Do- I realize that there's certain things that if John Singleton was here, it's certain stuff he wouldn't have signed off on. So like when uh, when Franklin got hemmed up by Teddy and he up there with the noose or whatever around his neck hanging, and then Teddy gonna look at him and say, hey, um, and I'm sorry about, you know, I just had to make sure because I couldn't trust where you were gonna move. Got Franklin in there hanging, and then he got stand like on his tippy toes so he can breathe. John Singleton wouldn't have did that. He wouldn't have did that. Mm-mm. And I just feel some type of way about that. I mean, I know he passed on, but I'm like, he would have never did that. He, he did wouldn't have signed on that tiger bullshit. He did high but, and learn. This never would happen. You know, but that's a conversation for another day. I oh. can't wait to tap in and see what's going to happen with Poppy. I want to know what's going to happen with Louie. I want to know what's going to happen with Oso. I kind of want to know what's going to happen with Leon also. Um, yeah. because dude is still on his ass like yeah he showed a little respect at the funeral but he's still a little tight about getting his ass whooped in the middle of the hood yeah and I'm like he need to just go ahead him and this girl just take her all away from there and then and then watch he gonna like, take her away but no but watch they probably not gonna go back though because now Franklin's mother's like you want my job at the center 
And then she, I'm honored, I'm honored. So I get everything, but now she found a sense of purpose, which it seems like it was missing in her life, which is why she was acting the way she was and everything. So now she's going to want to stay. Just because you don't have a sense of purpose don't mean you got to turn to the pipe. Hey, listen, but she remembered, <laughs> like, I just want to try a little rock, Lee. I just want to try a little rock. Next thing you know, she out there going nuts and... It's, she lost her damn mind. Where if anytime you attack your own grandmother because of the wrong loss, your damn marbles, and then you attack but, your friend with a skate. What? What are we doing here? I mean, like, put like this. If you really think back, though, like I remember when I mm, and hold on, I'm trying to think about. Mm, I think yeah, I had to make sure, like law wise, make sure. That, never mind. That's a different story. These practices, my <laughs> no, because I'm sitting. I got a. I had a great story, and then I was the limitations may not help you on that. There you go. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because I mean, no. Oh, it's a great story. A little bit. Just skip over it. Just, I mean, I just want to say, okay, I won't say no names, but I will just say this man was out here getting money, and I definitely remember being a little kid and seeing a boat was going to get parked at my home for safekeeping. A boat. A whole boat. I'm like, I don't even know what you need this boat for. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. But anyway, HR is rushing me on. He doesn't. He doesn't want to hear my my story. So yeah, but yes, let's see. Well, actually, wait, wait, wait. Before we jump into the dating horror stories, I'm sorry. We had a little something that we wanted to add here to the. I don't necessarily want to say the pandemic news, but a problem that we've been noticing throughout the pandemic or since the pandemic has happened and it's probably been happening before then maybe because people were in the house with their family members and they probably were thinking like am I really related to you why are you here what is your purpose in my life there is a woman who has been married to her husband for 10 years they have three children and they just found out that they are cousins well, um, first cousins second cousins or third cousins it says that they were the eighth generation cousins. So they were three cousins and the and everything. And so, that, and the thing about it, I guess it depends on how far that trickles down, but that's kind of wild. And the thing about it, like the main point of this is that it's a lot of people who, you know, are out here living these lives. They got families over here, over there, and they don't ever think of these things that they don't tell people or the people that have to stay hidden. You know, usually these things don't come out until like a funeral or something. And then that's when you find out like, oh, we know that's such and such. Because I know there was a, um, it was a black couple I heard about probably maybe two months ago where they also were married for 10 years and they found out that they were brother and sister. And okay. yeah, they found out they were brother and sister. Okay. And I think one sibling, Holy yeah. matrimony. <laughs> they were brother and sister. They got kids. And I, yeah, of course they got the same pappy because you know what I'm saying. You know how they say, um, "Mama's well, baby, mama's baby." Yes, home. there we go. Wherever he laid his hat was and his he home. They kept laying it around the whole neighborhood because <laughs> listen, and it's like, and it's these things that like hearing about it now. So like, when I okay, so I am uh, I'm a side, I'm a product of a side chick. Okay, I'm a side chick baby. My brother was going to my summer camp. My brother was my best friend at summer camp. And my mom came and said something to me. And I'm like five. And like, this, my brother, that's my guy. And so she said something. She's like, look, I just got to tell you, that's your brother. Don't tell nobody, but that's your brother. I just got to tell you because I gotta make sure you don't like him. I was like, that's my best friend. So yeah, I almost got punched out at um, daycare the next day because I told somebody and she went and told him. So my brother did try to fight me. And then, you know, he questioned me, my credibility, everything lined up. But just in that small incident, like that didn't mean too much to me when I was five. Like I heard what she said. These are the, those are the exact words that she said. So now I'm looking at this stuff that I'm hearing now and I'm like, wow, because a lot of people that was moving and shaking in ways they didn't make. And now the kids got to deal with the consequences of this. There's no way that girl should be marrying her brother. There is no way. Now with the cousin situation, I can see how that could happen because that was eighth generation and like you really had to sit there and well think about it, that's eighth generation so y'all that means that goodness they went to a wedding like they, they had their wedding and these people and nobody knew they were cousins then yeah no and so i think when uh when reading the article the wife said that 
her grandmother and his grandmother, they acted a lot alike. And they're like, oh my gosh, our family blends together so well and everything. Then you find out that y'all are cousins. And they're like, well, we're not getting divorced if or anything. And I'm like, that's really wild because they might be having a real good it marriage. Point, it, it is what it is. It's I already had kids. And I mean, and that's, that's probably only because the kids didn't come out with like a disability or something like that. So that's probably another reason why it wasn't anything that would ever Nobody have been. Knew, right. Because, you know, now, and then also, I don't know the ages of these people, but, you know, they do genetic testing, you know, for like, I'm pretty sure for all of us, we had to go ahead and do the genetic test and all that stuff. And they run you for all those things. So something would have came up along the way. So I don't know the age of these children and everything, but it's, it's interesting. Either way, y'all. Y'all gonna be out here slipping and dipping. Wrap it up. Be safe. Don't do this to other people. Yeah, please stuff. wrap it up because you might be sleeping with your cousin or your half brother. Just wrap it up. And what hey, is, listen. Uh, <laughs> and if I, I gotta find the story, if I find the story, they look alike. You know, how sometimes they people they say when you're with somebody so long that the yeah, couple they looking like because huh? they got the same damn grandmother. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they would uh, no. If you saw a picture of them, I'm like, oh god. Oh, God, I'm like, y'all didn't think that? Because y'all look, woo. Like, they look so much alike that I'm like, I'm surprised y'all didn't question that. But, you know, people want to keep it. We're here and there. We go but, skip yeah. for something more entertaining, yeah. like these dating horror yes. stories. Yes. Neek Neek wasn't, wasn't with us last week, so I can only imagine... <sighs> Like I feel like you like roll dice before we record. <laughs> I said last slide. story. I don't know if I could take another one. I need to find me an ad or something to take. Yeah, you can go ahead and get a shot for this one. Okay, a shot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me know when y'all ready. Y'all ready? Oh, we're okay. good. All right. So look, right. I was out on a double date with uh with a group of friends and new acquaintances also I thought um come to find out when the guy I was on a date with friend showed up we had talked in the past but it was like years years ago and it was nothing serious um the same home girl that I had uh ended up dealing with the crazy dude I was about to say, I hope this wasn't the same group of friends. It is the same girl. Nah, the first one, the crazy one that put the gun in my lap and stuff. Oh, God. Wow. I feel bad for her because in this situation, I didn't have nothing to do with this. But um, we were all out on a date and um, it just got real quiet out of nowhere. And the guy was just like, I mean, I know I'm here to be her date, but I don't want her. I want you. I remember you. Oh. <laughs> ah. I would have laughed. I would have laughed. Hey, laugh and be like, I'm like, you're just joking. I did. And nah, he, he let everybody at the table know that he was dead serious and made it very uncomfortable so you know back then I was real toxic and the only thing that seemed like the right thing to do was to leave with him (laughs) as you said because that was your date that That was not my date that That wasn't your date date now (laughs) yes it was my date now and he was just like I mean y'all two look good together you might as well go ahead and talk to her I mean she ain't ugly no, I just want her. Hmm. You know what? We got rid of her. Babu. I know. And he was just like, I'll take her home. She was mad. She was mad. He was a nice young man. He took that young lady home. Yeah, I was all types of bitches after that. But, you know. Mm. I don't, say la I don't, vie. I don't know what to say. Because there isn't much to say. <laughs> I mean, I've been in <laughs> I've been in a similar situation. Uh, long story short, my girl slid in this dude's DMs. We used to go to school with him. He asked her about me. And then she's like, oh, yeah, we're still cool. And he was like, look, why don't we all get together and go out? So, okay, she hits me up like, hey, you know, 
look at him. Da -da. And I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, yo, he glowed up. He looks good. So we go and it's just me and her and him. And he's a gentleman opening all the doors, everything. So we chilling. And then like, I'm realizing it's like this. Red flag number one. If you reach out to him and you try and talk to him and he start, and he didn't just say, are you still friends with her or something like that? But if he keep on focusing on talking about me, then guess what I'm going to do? This other person is not going to come. You know what I'm saying? Like I would, she, she never had to invite me. She really could not have invited me. I never would have known anything about it because when she tells me, this is the whole, I find out in the end. So um, long story short, uh, so me and him, we started dating. Um, I had, uh, I mean, she was talking to somebody else, so I didn't really see what the problem was because you had somebody. I didn't, so cool. And we rocked for like, it wasn't long. We rocked for like mm, maybe three or four months. It was nothing serious or whatever. But she was like, you know, that's really messed up that you stopped talking to me because of him. And I'm like, girl, that ain't even how that had went down. Like me and you had a falling out about something totally different. The whole time she's thinking it's him. I'm like, nah, because again, the, the facts, she had a boyfriend. You slid in his DMs. He start asking you about me. The moment he start asking about me, because you had other people that you was hanging around with. He didn't know how far me and you went back. So as soon as he started doing that, I was she could have went ahead and went on a, a whole date with him, be like, oh no, she can't come and she couldn't make it or whatever. And that would have been cool if he was really, you know, trying to highlight him, but he was mine for a little bit, you know, just like <laughs> just like a door now, like I had my turn. So there we go. That part too, but at the same time, if you're asking about my friend. I'm just going to shut the whole conversation down. Be like, you know what? Well, you contact her because I don't, well, I don't, if you're asking about her, then obviously you're not interested in what I'm proposing. Mm -hmm. So therefore, just end the conversation and save yourself a headache and just go ahead and pass on, pass on the information. Exactly. Because I mean, yeah, she's in, yeah, like he was fine and that's cool and that's fine. But again, you slid in his DM. You get to talk about my friend. It's a lot that's not about to happen. Or like, or she could have told me like on the back, back end. I would not mm -hmm. have invited her. I and then we went I mean, we, I just we, up. I we went to three separate places that night too like all of us went to three separate places and like that's wow and then they and then like i said you know we went to three separate places and he ended up coming back to my place later so i mean i had a great night you know what i'm saying we had a great night nah my bad i'm i mean i'm good on stuff like Anytime I go out with somebody and then on the back end, they'd be like, well, I want you. Well, I don't want you because I see how you're moving. So exactly. Hey, they don't get that. We're not homie hopping. Hello. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. like in this case, my, my girl, she could have prevented all that. I never would have known. And again, you had a man. So it's not like I said, Oh yeah, jump in his DMs for me. I ain't need you to do that. I can, I got my own motion. I can make moves. I, I don't, you ain't got to pass me the rock. I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now nah, it'd be wild because me and my, like I said, I don't have exes. I have previous entanglements. <laughs> One of previous entanglements, we haven't been together in years, ten mm. plus years. And then I've noticed, like some of his friends, they'll try to spin the block. Yeah, me and him may not have been together in years. But I'm good on spending the block with you because mm -hmm. you, yeah, y'all, y'all were mans at some point. Y'all might not be as close now, but mm. nah, I'm good because one of his closest mans hit me and was like, "What's up?" Woo, 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 woo. I'm mm. thinking, you know, it's on some, you know, hey, how you doing? Haven't seen in a while, type. Then he starts talking crazy, and then I just let him ask. Him. I was like, "So what's up? What do you really want?" Uh -huh. He's like, and, "I want you, boo." And uh, some kick that and. Bar. and <laughs> <laughs> gladly decline because I'm good. I don't want to start no unnecessary rift between mm -hmm. y'all because I know he is when it comes to certain things and I, certain things is me. He don't play about. Yeah. And like I said, we haven't been together in years, but I'm good on all avenues of that because I don't even want to be a part of that. I don't want my name mixed up in that. Mm -hmm. I am good. I am great. Thanks you wasn't you. that and when you was with him. You didn't come up with me, thickness. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm great. Thank you for being a part of my glow up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. my guy. I'm good on you, my guy. Like, 
I mean, I don't, I mean, like I said, everybody operate different, but that's just one thing that I just could never act upon, yeah. do, explore. Yeah. I'm, not Dora. I'm not Dora, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I am good. Listen. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's really wild, though, because then you, it'd be funny, like, then when you see them out with their friends and then, like, dudes but I will never get years ago I was with this man and like his homeboy was like oh what's up die I ain't seen you in a minute he picked me up he picked me up he picked me up and my guy is standing right there and I'm looking like you because I'm like I don't want to have this argument later on I'm looking like dog you knew I was walking in here into my kitchen this man came and scooped me up. It was just like, you know, I'm going for a hug. And then, you know, when you start feeling that your feet ain't touching the ground, mm -hmm. I was like, what are you doing? And then, and then he was like, oh, let me put you down. That, that's this man laid me down like a baby on the floor. Oh, no. Disrespectful. Yo. And then by the end of the night, the same homegirl that I was just telling you the story about, he was all in her face and everything. And I'm thinking like, I mean, I don't care. I don't want you, but I'm like, I told her, I said, I don't really think that's the type of person you want to deal with because she's like, oh no, girl, we, he was just playing. I'm like, I've never been in any type of relationship whatsoever that has ever been cool enough for somebody man's to come and scoop me up. Then not only scoop me up, you lay me down on the floor. But not even that. That's the whole, okay. we don't, I don't need the spin around hood. If you ain't seen me in a while, you can give me a nice hug yeah, or you yeah. can even give me a sad hug. But I don't need you to pick me up and spin me around like I'm a fucking two-year-old. We no. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a ride. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I don't want to feel that groin to groin. I don't want, yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was definitely in my thinner days then. So I was like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, I ain't that thin. And then I'm like, and I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. Why are you doing this to me? But again, it be them things that like, you know, you give somebody a hug, you can't be groin to groin. Like if they already gonna feel your cross mm -hmm. they already gonna feel that just because of, you know, that's First, that's one thing. When I give I hugs, I make sure there's a safe distance, whether I'm in a situation or I'm not, because I don't want you to take any type of way yeah. of this hug out of context. So exactly. therefore, I said, if I see in a minute, yeah, I might give you a nice hug, but it's gonna have a safe distance in between. Or yeah. I'm gonna give you a side hug, be like, "Oh, hey, what's yeah. up? Mm -hmm. See you in a while." Now, like, your tightness going, your tightness too tight. Like you try and let me know that, like, girl, he's no, mine. No, I hold tight this and let me go. We don't need double arm. We don't need double arm hugs. Exactly. One is good. Play safe. Exactly, because I like I like my my tight hugs from one person. Grip. Talking about hugs. Uh, Hulu. Mm. So, did y'all hear about the new uh, documentary coming out? Yeah. Freak me. <laughs> y'all can see some of y'all aunties and grandmothers and, and, and some of y'all. Uh, um, yeah. You know like, I can't wait to see this because I remember, I do remember being little and hearing, I think it might have made it, it definitely made it to broad stream news. I didn't handle family. Yeah. Lately. And what? And I kept thinking, I'm like, oh man, it looks like they're having so much fun. I can't wait till I get older. I'm going to order Freaknik. And then when and I grew up, Baltimore was bad, then you should check out this documentary coming out soon. Yeah. I can't, because I've always, I'm not going to lie. I've always wanted to go to one just to see but I feel like I got a sample of it when I was 18 and I went to, but yeah, I wasn't even 18, but we're going to skip that part. <laughs> I went to Black Bike Week and- Ooh. That's a freak net. Yeah, I go every yeah. is because because uh, we went on the strip, <laughs> baby. That's all <laughs> they that they had the camcorders out, the girls in the car. I said, what is going on right here? Yeah. Oh, it's it's time of your life, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, it was definitely a time of my life because I wanted to. And they to do them in Georgia a lot as well. I mean, in the South, I mean, that's the Southern thing. You feel me? Like, I'm yeah, checking it. I okay. ain't know it was like that. Like, yeah. All right. Like Memorial that. Day weekend this year. Okay. So it's going down this year. <laughs> yeah, it goes down every Memorial Day weekend, baby. That's every year. Black, well, black, week. black Mike. No the same anymore um no baby it, it's still that 
It ain't gonna be like that. It don't need I to be. I read an article about this right now, okay? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm like, it wait a minute. It don't need to be like that, no way, because Negroes don't know how to act when they're out in public, no way. Yeah, but also a lot of bikers, they were dying. Um, you know, Black Bike Week with people not paying attention, yeah, you know, because people on people their bikes and getting under the influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I had no business doing the activities and riding on the back you of the bike. don't sound like you had one. any business doing that. But it was, it was, it was, it was the time because I mean, I was on the back of the bikes. I'd be riding around. Mind you, me, young and dumb, I'm asking questions. Oh, like, how long have you been riding? Oh, I've been riding for this long. Okay, well, let me hop on the back of your bike and we're going to go. Yeah, forward. sure. That's fun. <laughs> I well, mean, and I still do that time. at my age. Right. That's, time. that's all I'm going to say. It was a time. I wish I would have went when I was of age so I could actually get into like the clubs and stuff but it was a time between the wa walking back and forth between the hotels and then you got the hot tub over here then you got drinks over here and then you got the pool over here then you got the yeah. ocean all right there yeah I mean I I was living I should have took my happy ass to Ocean City like everybody else for a senior, uh, senior week or senior beach week or whatever the shit is. But no, I... Wow, they got a lot of stuff going on over there. Oh my God. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So I've never been. I, I, what this documentary is going to tell us, what it's going to show us. I know Uncle Luke better be in it because he's... I can not say it. Luke's not no. in it, but... He's, yeah. oh, he's, I feel like he started it. He he go. I mean, yeah, I won't say he stopped, but he won't put it out there. Like, think about, like, when we was little, think about, um, look at that girl, she's crazy, dude, so I want you to. Like, look at that girl, she's crazy, dude, so 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 she's crazy, they did, but you know what? Then um, my homegirl, so I posted this, something about this on my story earlier, and my girl sent me this video of, I remember hearing about this, but this girl's walking through the crowd and the men are grabbing her clothes and ripping her off. So there's the way that she came in it and the way she's walking out. She leaves there naked because they ripped her clothes off. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, they're going to have that part of where you know i'm pretty sure we're gonna like there was another video where they yeah they show i got that on my page well i don't have this video on my page but if you oh, follow man, the thread they put in the, that girl she said that she had a leg up next to you know, the dudes the amount of fingers and hands that went into this woman and they <laughs> hold they holding her legs up and then like so she can't try to walk away if she wants to she's just sitting there smiling and i'm looking like all right, at some point, this hurts. And I'm like, that's a lot of hands, y'all. Not even it hurts. You probably got all types of hands, foot, and mouth. <laughs> like, it's, it's this one dude, you see his back and go up. Like, it, it was that part. I was like, oh. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm going to watch it. Good yeah, they I'm, on. I'm, I'm highly it, disturbed right now. A lot of things yeah. we talked about tonight have me... <laughs> Third. Yeah, between the Dalai Lama, um, let's see, the Dalai Lama, uh, people marrying their cousins or their siblings. Yeah. Um, this episode the, right here is rated at your own risk. You know <laughs> what? You know what? And um, we need to write that down. Matter of fact, I'm gonna type that in the chat for HR. At your own risk needs to be the name of this episode. <laughs> there we go. And you know what? I should have said like um, you know like. Um, but it's you know the viewer discretion. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes. We I, that's how that's how I should have started out the show. They be all right. They be all right. They got a good fifteen minutes. Yeah, this because I mean they look they did, but not your daughter, because then she come out and I'm like they need to hide these guns like they hide the sex toys. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, she's asleep now. She'll she'll forget about it tomorrow. I hope so. I hope so. If not, I will get a message about this and I will make a short about this saying, I just want to send a personal apology out because I am a mother and I can't believe that. Mm, mm, mm. But oh, well, well, that, there we go. There we go. Well, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and let's prepare for how, what is it? The, uh, the Kobe and Shaq of the podcast world, our lovely Tay here and Mr. Mike T. 
We'll be back. Well, well, well. We're back. Dynamic duo. We're here. Tay and T, baby. Tay and T. <laughs> I like that. That's cute. Tay and T. That's cute. That's real cute. Creative. I like that. We might have to, you know, we got we we'll have to brand that. So you can't nobody take that. That's us. That's our thing. So how are you feeling on this good day? I'm amazing. I'm feeling great. You know. I see you. You got good energy. See you. You glowing over there. What's going on? What? what you got a new skincare routine or something? You know, I just wash my face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, you sound like me. I stay saying that. Like, but that's no here or there. How was your spring break? Well, you didn't really get a spring break. You know, but how spring was break? break. Yeah. I just thought I asked. It's okay. It's okay. I I, I just, you know, one of this Same here. Working. Money calls. You know. Oh God. So today's question. If you restarted your life from scratch, would you or would you not end up in the same place? Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. I don't think I would want to restart my life. Cause I like being who I am, but I don't know. I never really thought about it. I probably changed a few things, but then I wouldn't be where I'm at now. So who knows? I don't know. I don't know. That's a do, good. It, do do is is this the sound of defeat? No, I just gave you the answer. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of I don't knows behind. You can't that. beat me, man. I mean, no. <laughs> I like being me. I mean. It's a lot of things in my life that I go back to that I think about sometimes that like, damn, if I could have did that differently, um, what position would it put me in? Um, but at the same time, like, I might not be in the situation I'm in, you know? Um, I guess are you asking what I'll trade, if I had a chance to do it over, mm -hmm. you're asking? Yeah. I, I would do some things over. I would do some, definitely some things. Um, yeah, I would do some things that, you know, financially, differently. Um, let's see. Business-wise, there were a few things differently. Um, some decisions I made, I probably would do different. Yeah. But I wouldn't want, like, if I had, like, somebody just came to me and said, hey, you there. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to refresh everything? And it's like, if you refresh everything, then... Like at the age I'm at now, so if I just like hit the refresh button right now, then everything that I've done, I mean, where would I be living? Like my future would be my my history, you know? So I don't know. Okay. So with that being said, would you rather lose all your memories or keep them or not have the ability to make new ones? Ooh. Damn, that's a good, that, now that's a good one. Um, sheesh. I don't know, man. I got some good memories, but I got some bad ones too. But then I can't make no new ones. Right. So would you like to keep the ones you got? Or not be able the to make ones I got, I can still make new ones. So yeah, I'm keep the ones I got. Okay. I can make, Cause I still have the ability to make new ones. Bam. See? Okay, I see you. Okay. Quick, on your feet. Quick as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat me. Can't beat me. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, I just wanted to say something. You have any more questions? No, go ahead. Okay. So to our Baltimore fan base, our, <laughs> oh. fan base, our Alabama fan base, Atlanta. All yeah, the I, Tulsa. 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 All the aunties and uncles that was at Freak Nick 94, that's going to be on this documentary. I like to say the thoughts and opinions of the Women of the Facts podcast do not reflect the 613 Network. Please hit the like and subscribe. Don't unsubscribe. 
because of what they said about Baltimore. Baltimore is not dirty. There are clean parts of Baltimore, okay? And I said that. I, I said that there are clean parts, but it's no, just... No, 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 no. I'm trying to get them back. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> AMC movie theaters. Uh, Regal, <laughs> Regal movie theaters. You know, the other ones with the reclining seats, whatever the name of that place is. They, they were just joking. They were just joking. It's a little black Twitter thing that they be talking about st putting stuff in the purse. They was playing. We spend big money at y'all establishments. So don't listen to them. They're <laughs> playing. They bought, I mean, they bought all the candy. Like they bought the popcorn. They bought everything. Listen. All the ICs. I see. Yes. If you, fellas, if you get a girl to Icy, that's damn near getting her ring. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, engaged, I'm engaged. <laughs> if, if you really like her, you get her icy. That shit costs like thirty dollars. Hey, it's free refills now, though. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, until we confirm that with AMC and Regal, please, if you would like an icy refill, don't go do it yourself. Ask them first, please. Twenty okay. percent off. If you, use, if you use the facts, you better say that we got a cold. <laughs> I'm trying to get us blue chew. Blue chew. Y'all giving out codes like a mug. Give us a cold. They didn't say nothing about blue chew. So I'm trying to think of something else. What else? Hookah. All the hookah, hookah. brands. Y'all give us a cold. All you hookah brands, give us a cold because she be puffing hookah. They give me a cold. Hey, dispensaries. Fly Ooh. me out with some papers. Um, <laughs> Give me some pre-roll tips. Okay, you asking Give me a, a new right wig. Now. You're asking a lot. We're trying to get shit back. I need a new wig yes. for, for season three. This is for the smokers. Simply for the smokers. Season three, we... <laughs> We're going to be sponsored by fucking... I'm trying to get Fenty and all that shit. Y'all are just fucking that up. Well, usually when we are recording, I do have on fancy lip gloss. So. Listen now, See? Rihanna smokes weed. She can't right now at this moment, but Rihanna is a stoner herself. So me saying stuff about papers, she can relate. No, but and we both have Baltimore the big five dirty. Head, so you know. Calling Baltimore dirty might not get us the bag. I didn't say it was dirty. Y'all said, said, said fuck the Baltimore Orioles. The like, oh. Oh, Kyle Jr. is the man. Y'all said fuck Avon Barksdale. Every, everything that y'all said about Baltimore, I felt bad about. I was like, God damn, I got family in Baltimore. Me too. Listen, Baltimore has some good spots. Check out Stuggies in Fells Point. Everywhere I go is in Fells Point. Where were you when they were hating on Baltimore? He's right it. here. He said it. I, nobody was hating on Baltimore. I just said. You called it I, dirty. You said I, it was malicious. Wait, that's because that's how they portray it on TV. So that's what we have to go off of. But I don't even go off of that because the few times that I go do go up there. I was trying to help you out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. help. Thank you, Nick. Nick. Thank you. No, fine, she, was, she was using SAT words to describe Baltimore. I heard her say malicious. I was like, what? what? He said, every time I go up to Baltimore, everyone looks mischievous. I'm like, what? <laughs> then y'all just threw VA like the South. They just wild down there and they just shoot guns. Pow, 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 pow. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> Northern VA, we still love you. Good spots to eat too. Huh? Not Virginia is bad. Virginia has a lot of restaurants and a lot of dope activities. It's just certain. It's just they be tripping. I just want to let you people know. I love Black Ball Hitch. Season That's three, all of our sponsors will be high cholesterol places because that's at this point. We won't get high cholesterol. <laughs> Popeyes. We need carry out. <laughs> we are not right. with the Popeyes. Popeyes is Jay Will's thing. So you leave Popeyes alone. Oh. Look, you just hearing him talk about it. He's going to join in in a second. Hold on. <laughs> HR had that in. strawberry <laughs> banana. He had a strawberry banana uh, biscuit. It's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so those biscuits are so bomb. See, Jay Will knew about that shit four months ago. I finally don't, do that. don't say he knew. 
He did. Y'all think we be lying when we telling y'all he went to the Popeye's Museum. Shout out to the wrestling. <laughs> he will. literally went to Louisiana and went to the Popeye's Museum. I'm saying this on air. C- clip this, Jay. He went <laughs> to the Popeye's Museum. He told us about the breakfast menu. He told us, oh God. He told us about the strawberry biscuit that was going to come out. Oh, he signed the wall while he was there? Yes. Oh. Oh. Did he sign in chicken grease or did he sign with apple butter jelly? That's right, bang. I'm telling um. Louisiana recipe. <laughs> <laughs> while other people go to while other people go to New Orleans to give out beads and stuff like that. J Will was not worried about that. <laughs> I mean, hey, if he got insight on the 32 spices and he It's actually 46, he said. <laughs> Okay. I'm telling you, he told us. I don't want to call him Baby D, but it's getting he's, baby yeah. He said, you know how you go to Popeye's and then they got the little containers with the spices on them? He said they really use them down there. Uh, look, like, he's he giving said, baby I'm, vibes. Hey, giving hey, baby hey, D vibes. He, he told his shit before. Type in the chat if I'm lying, bro. Um, it says he's Baby D's big brother is what it says. Mm-hmm. Oh no! This is okay. This is okay. Knew, but he know about the biscuits before it hit the streets. I'm telling you, he did. I know Papa said That's why now. Why you think? Why you think that nobody in the four corners has made any post about those biscuits? We've been new. <laughs> <laughs> None, nobody on the four corners retweeted. Nobody shared. You ain't seen nobody say, "Ooh, the biscuits coming," or "The biscuits are here." No, we knew about him. He told us. He literally told us. He said, "Ooh, they got these biscuits. They got these." St- <laughs> I heard they were good, though. Did he try it? Yes, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> he had the I knew about all the snacks. <laughs> he, yeah, he knew about all of it. He said, "Man, <laughs> and he said, one thing you got to do when you go to New Orleans, we got to go to the Popeye Museum." He was like, "What?" <laughs> I we're, gonna they- in the, um, we're gonna put that in the chat as well. So when this goes up, we're gonna make sure we put this in there and like we can't have a direct link to Popeyes. We're trying to get a Popeye sponsorship. Well, no, we're not gonna be able to. He's got Listen, it. I'm fat. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We all know this. However, if I was going to New Orleans, I want to go to the Magnolia. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm to the Calio Project. I want to go to the. They don't. Some places they don't have doors. They put sheets across the doors. I, my mom used to date this dude that was down there, and I'll never forget. And they said, he was like, that's the Magnolia Projects. And I'm like, they don't have doors. It was sheets. I want to go to where Little Wayne from. I want to go, I want to, go to all the places that y'all said Baltimore. I want to go to those places. <laughs> nah, I'm looking at the menu that they got for the Popeye's breakfast, I think. See? He might be right. on to something. Let's wrap this up, too. Okay. He might be on to something. They got a steak biscuit, grits. Every, <laughs> see how great we are. We pass the rock around, Tay. We just just let them. Oh, they got a cheese biscuit. Just, just, you know what? Just come in our segment and just, you know. It's you okay. Know. It's okay. Oh. I mean, at this point, I, I don't know what else to say. I learned a lot. You know, I didn't know they had a breakfast menu. I didn't know they even had a Popeye's Museum. So, with that being said, uh, yeah, thanks, Mike. Thank you. We appreciate you for all your time. Shout out the rest of the podcast. Shout out Jay Will for putting us on to the biscuits before everybody else. We do appreciate you, baby D, brother D. <laughs> Apple, well, Apple butter jelly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want some apple butter jelly so bad. That's all I can do. Well, I can do that much. I'm a, I mean, the Popeyes ain't too far from me, so I mean, I'm just gonna go in tomorrow and just say. Popeyes coupons, and if you go now, they leave some coupons in the bag. Really? Yeah, I'm just letting Popeyes you know. Different. Because, uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Mo. You must ain't here the last segment. You don't need no damn coupons. We got Jay Will, baby. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Will. Thank you. He's the plug. Yes. There you have it. Popeyes got a museum. Hey, I need to I need to be on the know of how to get in there. I'm trying to try some of their grits and the cheese biscuit. So we need to talk to him. All right, so we need to have a 613 meeting, okay? We're going to go down there. We're going to do the road trip. 
We're gonna get the mega bus. I'll drive. <laughs> um, no, I don't want that responsibility to have to drive that, do none of that. Can I smoke on it? We just go, we're just gonna rent the the what what, what do we call it? The law and order van. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> so we're gonna drive around the block. I don't know if that's a good idea in New Orleans. No. They might be for us, yo. That, like, no, I don't, yeah. I don't know. They, you know, put it like this, you know, the way that the pandemic changed everybody. No, it's going to be the same way it was. I went there as a young teen and I, I saw a lot and I'm good. Like, I'm good off that. Like, people are like, oh, you know, let's go there for Mardi Gras. And I'm like, I'm going to watch y'all go ahead and go. Um, Because I know they got like, there's somebody who does like the, um, what is it? Uh, Bourbon Street Confessions or something like that. That's a mm-hmm. wild night or whatever. It, it's something, but. I don't know. I don't know if I need that experience. I've seen it. Now. I think I need it. I mean, I just want to go for. I just want a bar of apple. Butter. Popeyes experience because I'm curious about the breakfast. Like, do they make their grits the same way they make the the um the gravy for the mashed potatoes? Like, you know, <laughs> they got sausage gravy too. <laughs> oh look at you! Oh, look, that's the hey, look, I look at I have all ever seen. It. Or neat, neat space right there. Okay, we Listen, sing we all food of to my kids. That's what get me motivated through the day. It's something about that. That's what gets you motivated. That's a nice combination. You know, hey. This okay, is a- so let's make a summer trip. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I don't know because remember last summer it got real, real hot, and I remember like because you know global warming is like on something else, and my skin was boiling in the sun last year. However, if we plan, all right, let's go on a Greyhound, right? Okay, we're gonna be cost effective or mega bus. No, mega bus. No, no, no. Somebody might have one of them law and order bands. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that like we know that. I was like, them. oh god. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna ride in the van. I'm gonna be bougie. Um, I'm yeah. not good with road trips. If you take me on a road trip, you're not gonna have anybody to talk to because I'm probably gonna be asleep most of the time. I you don't ever really have to stop to go to the bathroom because I don't eat or drink that much. <laughs> I sleep. I sleep. She's saving her appetite for the Popeyes Museum. I do. I sleep road trips. Like I will go to sleep. The last road trip I took was to Ohio. That's only five, six hours away. Yeah. What did I do? I slept the entire way. I woke up, changed the baby, went, went back to sleep. That's amazing. Yeah, when I go to Ohio, I'm the driver there and I'm the driver back. And oh and God. I, oh I yeah. Drove, no. No, let me rephrase yeah. that. I drove home from Ohio once, and we almost went over the side. Not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not. Oh, the yeah, that mountain is something else, and the, these guardrails. It's like you're playing with your life they the whole have, time. They didn't have guardrails. The part that I was on, there was no That's guardrail. He really yeah. woke up because it went. And I was like, oh wait a minute. Yeah. Oh let me, no. Sounds like exciting. Like, I won't. I when I tell you, go up and then you lose service. And as you're losing service, like your music, everything cut off, and you're like, oh god, you're like, if I fall off this mountain. You know, we're going to find me. It ain't no signal. It ain't nothing. And then you have the nerve that like you go out there enough. You can sit there and you can see like people. I think one day I was driving. I could see kids coming home from school. I'm like, wow, they got schools out here. Ain't that amazing? Oh, <laughs> well, <dude. laughs> and then it's like, I'm like, do they walk up that hill to that one house? Hmm. Interesting. I'm like, I'm never going to find out because I don't know if they like black people here. So I'm going to on that road. Yeah. I'm like, let's just make it to Pittsburgh, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But anyway, well, thank you for tuning in for another wonderful time here with, you know, the ladies and myself. We appreciate you. Please sit here. If you have not already, please, you know, subscribe to the show. Give us some likes. And right now we're in a competition with the others, with the other, you know, guys on our network. So oh, we need y'all in the words of Neat Neat, what we need, to, what they need to do, Neat, what they need what to do. Give us some views. Give us some yes. views. Run them up. Run them up. Please. Please. Even if you don't watch the whole show, just watch it for a little bit. Yeah, just give us a little bit of time, baby. A little like, bit of time. Like we're beautiful women. You know you want to watch this exactly. show. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We get, we get dressed here. We do this for not only ourselves, but, you know, we just want to make sure that you have something that's beautifully, um, something nice and aesthetically to aesthetically pleasing to look at and everything. But it's okay. Per HR, we will be back in our moo-moos. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see all the glory of the moo-moos that, you know, our beloved so get to see. Yeah, I think that's about yes. right. Yeah, but it depend on it depend on how we want to move. We can do the the uh, the one that like your mother used to wear and try to act like you know when they try to act like the robe was about to open and everything. We can wear that style. You know what I'm saying? Either. We hey, I'm coming not, in with my granny house coat. We're not pulling out the Lucille. 
We are we're done with Lucille. We're not. Oh, so we're not doing Lucille, this. Lucille no. got them kids. How you think she got them kids? Exactly. But she got but Charles was paying them bills. How? Exactly. was in it. But Charles wasn't paying the bills. Yeah, and that was Mabel who was like, I mean, I pay my own bills here, Charles. He's like, yeah, that's what I need, independent black woman. Yeah, no. But I don't know. But yeah, we'll be we'll be wearing mumus. So next week, you know, when you watch the show next week, join us. Ladies, have your mumus on. Guys, go ahead and get the snuggy ones. We know y'all got one. Matter of fact, one of the guys on one of the other podcasts, he has a nice red skins one. And you know, <laughs> hey, it's all right. It's all right. Join us. Let's get together. Thank you again for watching us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.